I think you can learn by practice, but ultimately it's about desire and relationship and intention. Being disciplined is more about trying hard and disciplining yourself to practice, you know, even when you don't want to. In reality, yeah, it's not easy to ascend when you're trying to do it. The easiest thing to do is to relax. Meditation, engaging is better when relaxed. Therefore, don't put an agenda on it. Don't try and agenderize engaging. Just set your heart's desire on the Father, on Jesus. Just set the eyes of your heart on them and let them lead the encounter. Let them lead you on the encounter. And whether that encounter comes visually or whether it's just an impression, it doesn't really matter so much. You know, when you talk about engaging through your, your, your eyes of your imagination, that is the screen where everything is engaged in our mind. It's where we see, perceive, hear, smell, sense, and everything in our brain is all interpreted by, from electrical impulses that are coming from stimuli. Our spiritual stimuli is still an electrical impulse that the brain needs to learn to interpret as easy it is to see with our natural eyes or hear with our natural ears or taste or touch. Any of the five physical senses, the spiritual senses are just as real and they come in exactly the same way through electrical impulses that our brain needs to learn to decipher. When the brain first hears electrical impulses from the audio nerve, like sounds, which are turned into images or turned into a digital rendition of that, if you like, then the, the brain doesn't know what language is to start with. But by repeating and repeating and repeating of the parents and people talking to the child, eventually they start to realize that those sounds or those electrical impulses in the brain are sounds that are language which can be interpreted. It takes time to develop. And if we set our desire to engage the father and be with him, when we're relaxed and enjoying being, just being, don't put an agenda on why you want to engage the father, but let him set the agenda. Then that opens up a realm for him to reveal to you the things that you need to experience and know about him, about you and all those things. But let him do it as a journey that he takes you on. Just keep walking with him. Then when it comes to things like portals, see, I never tried to jump through a portal. He took me through the portal because that was the time for the portal to open for me. Most of the time when I engaged portals initially, there were things coming through the portal so I could see them or experience them. When I went through portals, it was when he took me to that portal and led me through it. So again, I let him lead rather than me wanting to find out. See, I was always curious. I needed to know. I wanted to know. I needed to understand. Therefore, I always wanted to press through and find out. Well, that was me doing things in my own strength. God may have made me that way, but I was using it for self-validation. So when he separated my soul and spirit and reintegrated me soul and spirit, that set me free to be. And I didn't have to pursue knowledge and information in the same way. I was open to experience, whichever that way experience was. Now, my experiences were knowing like I had the experience, but it wasn't a visual experience because I was journaling the experience with my eyes open. But I'm writing down my experiences just like as if I was seeing them, but I wasn't seeing them. I was receiving the perception of them because I was in the encounter. So there are different ways of receiving when we look to experience of engaging, ascending, going into the realms of heaven or any other sort of reality that we're looking to experience with god start with the inside i think develop the inside experiences within your garden of your heart within your spirit first love opening that desire rivers of living water flowing lying down in green pastures by quiet waters you you set that and let him set the agenda of what he wants to talk to you about what he wants to show you where he wants to take you and how that gets realized and then you can begin to outwork that as your 
following him, not trying to set the agenda of what you want him to do for you. Just relax. Let him lead you. Let him guide you. Let him be with you so that you can find out the reality of who you really are and discover maybe if he wants to take you into that portal, great. If he doesn't, that's also great. Yeah, so don't push because you want to experience something. Ask the father to open up what that experience is about and just learn to listen and sense the father's voice because then you can go with the father's voice and you don't have to set the agenda and force the agenda or the issue. Just relax and enjoy the journey as he takes you on that journey of discovery and opens up that realm for that realization of who you really are. And then being who you really are will open up that for an expression of who you are to uh, outwork the father's heart in everyday life, in every, in every series of situations anyway. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.